listening, reading and critical thinking. In this lesson we are going to listen about some people talking about their phobias. And we are going to read treatments for phobias. First, listening. Speaker 1. I used to have a phobia about spiders. My father was frightened of spiders, so my phobia must have come from him. I remember him telling me that many spiders are poisonous. I always thought that any spider I saw was going to bite me, so I avoided all of the places where I might find a spider. I hated opening cupboards because I might have found a spider in it, and I never visited old buildings that might have been their home. Speaker 2 My mother says I loved dolls until I was about five, so fear of dolls can't have been a phobia I was born with. It just happened slowly, like an illness. When I was seven, one of my aunts tried to help me get over this fear. She brought me an old doll, then took off its hair to show me that it wasn't a real person. Of course, this just made everything worse. Four weeks after I had a bad dream about dolls, That was when my fear turned into a real phobia. Now, if I see a doll, I feel ill and dizzy. I must get away from it. Speaker 3 When I was 15, I was in London and I had to travel on the underground. The train was full of people. Everyone was talking or reading their newspaper. Then the train stopped in a tunnel. Most people stayed quite calm, but I began to panic. I ran up and down the train, crying and shouting. After about five minutes, the train started moving again, and I got out at the next station. Since then, I haven't traveled on the underground. I don't like being in very small places. That must be why I have a phobia about lifts too. In my last job, I worked on the 14th floor of an, of of an office building, but I went up by the stairs, not the lift. I sometimes took the lift just to show myself that I could do it, but I didn't enjoy it. Speaker 4 Going to the park and other open places can be terrible for me. I have a very strange feeling when I go to these places. The small streets near my home and small gardens aren't a problem, but a trip to a big open space like a park or a sports ground can be a nightmare. I hear my own voice saying, I must get away. I'm really afraid of open spaces. Treatments for phobias Phobias are not just extreme fears, they are irrational fears. They can affect people's lives and make them frightened to do things which most people do without thinking. For example, if you have a fear of fights, you may drive 40 kilometers to avoid a, hard a high bridge. The usual treatment is to slowly show the person who has the phobia what they fear. For example, a person with a spider phobia first thinks about a spider, then looks at photographs of spiders, and finally looks at a real spider. The, ther uh, the therapist 
who is given the treatment remains calm and helps the patient to relax. The person with the phobia feels in control of the situation, and because of this, they do not panic. After a few sessions, they realize that the thing they are afraid of cannot hurt them. In another treatment, the therapist gives gets close to the spider and picks it up without showing any fear. This helps the patient to see that he or she has nothing to fear. Some phobias can be treated in a few sessions with the therapist. Some people with phobias need medicine to help them relax before treatment. Treatment can be done in groups where people with the same phobia are helped together. It's also possible to have treatment from a computer program where the patient is put into a virtual situation with the thing he or she fears. Now, answer the following questions. How is a phobia different from a fear? A phobia is stronger than a fear and is irrational. How can phobias affect people's lives? They can make them frightened to do things which most people do without thinking. What kinds of things are people commonly afraid of? Heights, spiders, insects, my mice, snakes, flying, the dark, and so on. Why is it important for the patients with phobias to relax? The treatment will not work if patients panic. What's the best treatment for people with phobias? The best treatment is to slowly show the person who has the phobia what they fear. Some people with phobias need medicine. It's also possible to have treatment from a computer program where the patient is put into a virtual situation with the thing he or she fears. Why do some phobias need medicine? To help them relax before treatment. Why does it take a few sessions for patients to realize they do not need to be afraid? It takes time to build up their confidence in the therapist and the methods. How can a computer program used in treating some phobias? The patient is put into a virtual situation with the thing they fear. Why is it important to sleep well before an exam? You will probably worry more if you are tired. What sort of information do you think students forget easily? They may forget detailed facts and figures that they have learned but which they do not understand. Why do some students not like exam rooms? Exam rooms can be very large and full of hundreds of students. Students sometimes find the silence in exam rooms difficult or strange. Choose the correct answer. When I was younger, I often dreamed about, from, at, or with talent. Some children are frightened about, from, of, with the dark. I don't like traveling on trains which are full about, from, of, with people. My fear of pair of parties came about, from, of, with my mother. I've always been afraid about, from, of, or with birds. Now, check your answers. Thanks for listening with Nafham. Learn easily and simply.